Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to cover an interesting uh, Gen 4 SSD which is with one terabyte of capacity and it comes with a passive, uh, let's say sort of a heatsink that is optional. If you want to place it, you could, but if you have a passive heatsink on your motherboard, you can use that and skip this. One thing that it's important to know that if you stick this one on, you can't remove it because it sticks to your chips. Now, today we're going to talk about XPG Gamix S70 Blade with one terabyte of storage. This is M.2 NVMe Gen 4 times 4 SSD. And you can already presume that the speeds are insane. They go really high. And I did a couple of benchmarks in ASSSD, Auto Disk Benchmark and Crystal Disk Mark, which actually they vary a lot in terms of ASSSD showing quite smaller uh, speeds than usual. But that's uh, something strange with the application because every other application on every other SSD that I tested shows exactly how it should and how the manufacturer actually suggests. Now, right here it says it works with PS5, so this is PS5 recommended and you could use it on your PS5, but unfortunately I don't have one to actually test it, so that's that. It does have speeds that are needed for PS5 to run properly your games, but then again, that's it. Now, for the benchmarks, now what I did and what I have tested in Autodisk Benchmark, uh, we're going to start with, uh, let's say, a bit uh, a middle test range because in Autodisk benchmark read speeds go up to 6.47 6 gigabits per second while the write speeds go up to 5.88 gigabits per second. Now the strange thing, the ASSSD benchmark, it shows that it goes up to 5.8. 63 gigabits per second in read and in write it goes up to 5.35 gigabits per second. Now, as I already stated in a couple of my past videos when uh, benchmarking and testing the SSDs, uh, Crystal Disk Mark actually shows um, the exact speeds in terms of comparing it to manufacturers, what they stated and everything else. So Crystal Disk Mark in um, read speeds, we got uh, 7,129 megabytes per second. Now comparing the read speeds to the other M.2 SSDs that I tested, it's uh, slightly below for like, I would say 14 megabytes per second than the Sebrant Rocket 4 Plus Gen 4 times 4 one terabyte. But it's in front of Asgard AN4 Gen 4 times 4 and I don't have to mention the other ones which are Silicon Power US uh, 70 and Team Group Z44Q. As for the write speeds, uh, we have 6411 megabytes per second in Crystal Disk Mark, and comparing it to others, it actually really goes in front of each and every one of those because Asgard AN4 uh, goes up to 5000. 569 and the Severn Rocket Plus goes up to 5,453. IOPS random 4K read 1,014,121 and uh, IOPS for random 4K write 780,000. Now, taking everything into consideration and how it performs, it the temperature goes up to 72. Uh, degrees Celsius with the passive heatsink that you get with it. Unfortunately, I didn't test it without and with the passive heatsink on the motherboard, but I presume that uh, since we have much thicker passive heatsinks on the motherboard, that it might cool a bit better. It might get up to 69 Celsius, degrees Celsius, and that's really good when we're taking that into consideration. Now this M.2 SSD is designed for compact thin devices like laptops or PS5, even though the PS5 can actually take up a quite thick uh, passive heatsink. The sequential uh, read speeds uh, of all capacity measures uh, at 6100 megabytes per second in PS5. Now it's compatible with NVMe 1.4, it has higher efficiency and rod reliability. It has 3D NAND flash memory, it has SLC caching and DRAM cache buffer, which is also quite nice advantage to other M.2 that actually don't have that. 
and on top of that all we have a core performance characteristic which uh, S70 Blade supports LDPC error correcting code technology to basically detect and fix comprehensive range of data errors for accurate data transmission and it has uh, E2E data protection, write engine support and AES 256-bit uh, encryption. With Gamix S70 Blade you get 5-year warranty, you have a SSD toolbox uh, application that will give you all the necessary information like uh, system information, system, system optimization, uh, drive information, utility and diagnostic scan to actually see the smart uh, analysis, self-monitoring and everything that you need to know while operating on this SSD. So basically this SSD comes packed with loads of cool stuff and I would say performance wise it's really cool. If the temperature goes up a bit it might have thermal throttling in terms of if for instance you have problems with cooling down your room which automatically raises the temperature in your PC like in very hot summer days but that concerns each and every M.2 SSD not specifically this one with the passive heatsink for instance if you don't have a passive heatsink on your motherboard you're going to place this one and it will definitely give additional lower degrees on your M.2 of course everything that cools additionally than naked chips it's much better to be honest so guys the xpg gamix uh, s70 blade with one terabyte of storage really does perform quite nicely and you've seen that in the test so i'll place the links below for you guys that want to check it out with more information and where to buy it in the description and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe so hopefully i will see you next time in a new review thanks and see you very soon bye bye